Joe, Tommy C, and welcome to Get to the Point News. I'm in for Rip Wilson today. He's, um, he's like in sex rehab or something. I don't know. Skeptic YouTuber Sargon of Akkad, otherwise known as Carl Benjamin, had a speaking engagement at King's College in the United Kingdom. He was met with so-called protesters Antifa, which stands for anti-fascist. They then engaged in, well, fascism. <laughs> The so-called protest did get violent at times, but there was only a few bumps and bruises. Nobody was seriously injured. Carl Benjamin, Sargon of Akkad, went on to say, we won. As you can see, Antifa burst into the event. They pushed me around. They pushed other people around. And then we defended ourselves to victory by punching the crap out of one or two of them. And well-deserved in my opinion. I actually did try reasoning with them on the stage. I didn't throw any punches because none of them threw punches at me. Although if they had thrown punches at me, I would have defended myself vigorously as well. So, and honestly, if they attack you, I recommend you defend yourself as vigorously as you feel necessary. Don't let these thugs get away with intimidating you or being violent to you. You have every right to defend yourself, and I recommend you take it. Mainstream media outlets reported the situation as an alt-right speaking engagement being broke up by Antifa. Carl Benjamin, as known as Sargon of Akkad, is actually reviled by both the alt-right and the far left. Again, a lot of mainstream media coverage over this particular incident, and as we've seen with Miley Yiannopoulos and Ben Shapiro, these incidents only serve to highlight or give more exposure to the speaker. So I, I yeah, yeah, Ben, you won. <laughs> In a recent CSGO event, a young couple seemed to engage in mutual public masturbation. Rip would be proud. That's why he's in trouble. I'm sure the spot cook at the beach. I'm not sure if it was a year ago, but two years ago it was SL1, I think. Więc e, myślę, że po prostu jem jest to prestiż już od e, dłuższego okresu, ponieważ w 1.6 też były te turnieje i już e, drużyny mają na, na kontakt zwycięstwo. Man, you guys must be really in love. Couldn't wait till you get home. Get some! And it gets much, much better. This young, very passionate couple wasn't just your standard esports fans. According to a user on Reddit, the male in this couple is DJ Palicide, a 1.1 million subbed Polish YouTuber. The female in the couple is no stranger to social media herself. She has 14,000 followers on Twitch and goes by the name of Miss Honey. Because she's sweet. She got the sugar. Yeah, baby. But to me, that's not the most interesting part of this story. The most interesting part of the story is that dude sitting right next to them. Man, he don't give a fuck. He's there to watch some esports, man, or he's just a super great point man. He doesn't care. He doesn't. Uh, this guy is a damn hero. These perverts might be getting it on right next to him, but he is there to watch some CS go. No interruptions. And with that, I would like to bestow the first get to the point hero award to the guy sitting next to DJ Palisade and Miss Honey. Sweetness. That's right. You, sir, are my personal hero. You'll give a fuck. Well, that's all we have for this story, but it is worth noting that Twitch recently rolled out some off-platform behavior violation rules. And will it be enforced on Miss Honey? Or will they look the other way simply because she's a woman? I'm betting on the latter. Big time Fortnite streamer, really just battle royals in general, Ninja just hit 100 
thousand subs on Twitch. Here it is. Oh my god, we're 11 away! Uh While we here at Get to the Point News congratulate Ninja on his tremendous accomplishment of 100,000 subs on Twitch, some of his colleagues weren't as impressed. This is Shroud, and he suggests that, I don't know, uh, Ninja might be subbotting. Here it is. On Twitter, I remember reading about it last night. I mean, like, like you said, how we were kind of skimming through Ninja's subs. Just zero followers, zero this, zero this, zero this. Yeah. Fresh, yeah, I, made today. Zero this, zero yeah, this, made today. To zero this, zero this, made today. It's just like, it's too... It just doesn't add up. Yeah, know? yeah, I know. But I'm down, I mean... <laughs> what? I mean, no, you're not complaining. Everyone knows Ninja's not complaining, that's what I'm sure. So strange. I wonder if this, if it's, if it sucks. Now, four days ago, Ninja had a very impressive 60,000 subs. He jumped 25k in a day, making that 85, and that's a bit unusual. Ninja tends to be averaging the same amount of live viewership as he has subs, which is completely unheard of for any kind of streamer, unless they come back from a long period of time, or if they're a part of some sort of big event on their channel. So, what is the culprit for these very strange numbers? Is Ninja subbotting? Well, that's very, very unlikely. What is more likely culprit is the free sub you get with Amazon Prime. See, when you sign up for Amazon Prime, you're allowed one free sub for any streamer you seem to be fit. And with that, Amazon Prime comes along things like skins and other sorts of perks uh, for gamers. One of the most popular perks, of course, is Fortnite skins. Now, to try to hook you in, your first sign up is absolutely free. It's not unreasonable that a group or maybe just a couple individuals and not even aware of each other are signing up and just throwing Ninja Bone, their favorite streamer, just to collect the free perks and then creating another account and repeating the action. Again, there is no evidence at this time that Ninja has either corrupted or gamed the system in any special way. This could be a group effort by fans. This could be simply coincidence by people that are fans of Ninja. If they're going to cheat the system, they might as well just, I don't know, throw Ninja a bone. We'll keep you up to date on any information. Twitch is probably going to clamp down on this real quick. In other gaming news, Dr. Disrespect finally got his first Battle Royal win in Fortnite. I'd say finally, I have one. Trickle out! What the hell? This is my fort! This is my situation that I just completely controlled. From up here! Up here, guys! Number one! <laughs> Number one, up here! Hey, guys! Dr. Disrespect is playing that kitty graphic fort building candy ass video game. Very unpubg like of him. It's gonna be interesting to see if he actually switches to Fortnite and cashes in on all the popularity. Fortnite has suppressed PUBG and long surpassed H1Z1 and well World War II COD isn't even in the running. Fortnite does seem to be the future of battle royals. That's all we have time for today here at Get to the Point News. If you want to check us out on Twitter, get notified future episodes and videos and things of that nature. Check us out at 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 does not roll off the tongue correctly. It does not. At GTTP News Rip He's just an amazing broadcaster because he can say at GTTP News and I can't. Thank you very much again for being a part of Get to the Point. I hope to see you soon. I'm Tommy C and uh, I'm out of here. Hey, Jimmy, put me on with human resources. Get to the bomb, human resources, Nikita speaking. Hey, you got Rip's bags packed for sex rehab? Wilson? Yes, Wilson, my cousin. <laughs>
fucking hate that forward. I fucking hate the guy. If, if I if I could do anything, I would have fucking kill that asshole of a fucking garbage human. Yeah, I have his bags, man. Good job, Nikita. I'm just jealous because I get more pussy than you. It's not fair. Married.